Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dotbin.com and in this video, we'll show you various methods to fix the issue of the uBlock origin extension not working in the Google Chrome, Edge or any other Chromium browser. So recently Google had made the switch from the manifest version 2 to manifest version 3 and as a result of which many extensions are not working. This includes the popular uBlock origin as well. I have seen numerous reports across various forums wherein many have said that the extension has stopped working all of a sudden. In my case, currently I am getting a warning sign in the Chrome web store as well as the extension page as well in the Google Chrome browser that this extension may soon no longer be supported. But for now it's working in my case, but it will soon stop working. But for many users, it has already stopped working. If that is the case with you as well. Then in this video, I'll show you five methods through which you could rectify this issue. So with that in mind, let's get started. First off, it's quite a simple and strange fix. All you have to do is simply go to the Chrome extension page and re enable the toggle next to the uBlock origin and this should rectify the issue. This seems to have worked for quite a lot of users. So do give a try and see if it works for you or not. Moving on, your next fix involves the using the key for now option. So again, go to the extension page of Chrome, then click on the overflow icon next to the warning and select keep for now. Once that is done, you will again have to enable the toggle next to uBlock origin and then verify the result. So I'm repeating once again, first off, click on the warning sign, select keep for now and enable the toggle next to uBlock origin and then see if the extension is working or not. If it's still not working, then your third course of action is to use a inspect element tweak. So in that case, you will have to go to the uBlock extension page, which is this one. And in my case, even if I remove from Chrome, let me show you, I still have the option to add to Chrome, but many have said that the add to Chrome button has been gray out and it's no longer working. But in my case, it's working. So if in your case, the add to Chrome has been gray out, it's not a cause of concern. What you have to do is right click on it and select inspect. This will open a new window. And now you have to copy this value. So copy the value from my guide. And now in this page, in the under the inspect window, hit the control F shortcut, then paste this value and hit enter and you will get the value. Now what you have to do is change the value of disable to enable and save it. In my case, I am not getting this value because the add to Chrome option is still there. But if in your case, the add to Chrome is gray out, right click on it, select inspect, hit the control F and then search for this value. As you have seen, this is the value which I have given in my guide and the value will be somewhat here. Once you have got the value, simply type it and change the value from disabled to enabled and once that is done you must close the window and after that you must just click on add to chrome and the extension will be added on your chrome browser without any issue whatsoever let me show you it's now added so in my case currently the button was not gray out so i, I cannot show the exact step but this is what you have to do simply copy the value and search for it and it will be done but if it's also not working then there is no issue whatsoever you could simply use the official GitHub page to get this job done. So let me show you how. So first off, let's remove the extension from my browser. And now you have to go to the, let's suppose that Google has removed the extension from the web store and you cannot use this page. So in that case, simply go to the official GitHub page of the extension, which is this one. Let me show you uBlock is the official page of the extension. So from here, you could get hold of the source code of the extension as well. Simply go to the release section and download the extension latest zip file from here under the asset section, expand it. And this is the Chromium zip, download it and extract them onto your PC. Once you have done the extraction, let me show you. This is the zip file, this is the extracted file. Once you have done the extraction, now go to the extension page and enable the developer mode. Once you have enabled that, hit the load unpack button. And from here, you have to choose the extension zip file. In my case, this is this select it will now be loaded and as you could see it's now working well and good hit the refresh icon once if you're facing any issues and now let's verify the result as well so let me refresh my page once and the extension over here as you could see it's now up and running it has already blocked a few ads as well in my page the two ads has been blocked so it's now working well and good however if none of these work for you then your last course of action is to use the uBlock origin light version. It is a trimmed down version of the 
original uplog origin and with a few less features as compared to the official uplog origin but still it will get the work done and it will at least block all the ads so if the uplog origin is not working you may use the light version and the light version is built on the latest manifest version 3 so you will not get any warning sign whatsoever so guys on that note we round up this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and i will be updating this guide with more tweaks as and when i get hold of the same so make sure to have a look at this guide at regular intervals and thanks a lot for watching